Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch in Pretoria, South Africa, with South Africa's whiskey couple next to me, Elna, and myself, Gustav. And this is the place in South Africa, in the world where whiskey and food come together in fantastic harmony. But this is a very special video. Oh, yes, yes. Not the usual review, as always, but something very special because the Scotch Taste Dummies, another whiskey YouTube channel has challenged all of us YouTubers to do a special video where we reveal which five whiskies is our top five go back to mm. whiskies. Mm. Mm. So it's not our top five best that we've ever yeah. tried or tasted, but the top five that we go back to regularly because of availability, because of price, because mm. of value, and of course because of preference and flavor profile. Yes. Elna, these two are our number, number one, one mm. go back to whiskies. Yes. But I think you can start with your start number with five. Number five. My number five is the Bunnahaben 12. And I like this whiskey because of the rich sherry cask influence. And also the light, peaty, little bit of smokiness. I'm not a big fan of smoky whiskey, but I enjoy the Bunnahaben because it's only it's light. It's a light smokiness. Very lightly peated. And this is both of our number five go back to whiskies. This is also my number five. I'm a Bunnahaben fan. It would have been in the second or third place were it not for the price in South Africa. Yes. Recently the price has increased for this. Hmm. So now we pay around seven, eight hundred rand where it used to be for six hundred rand. So price wise, value wise, not perfect. That's why it's in the number five spot and if we want to pair this with a food snack we quite enjoy chocolate crepes with a berry reduction drizzled mm. over chocolate filled crepes and also roasted and salted nuts mm. so Elna both of our number five your number okay, four my number four is let's see it's the Glen Grant 12 Nice there. 12 year old Glen Grant. Grant. And I love this whiskey because it's light uh, with a typical Speyside fruitiness. I love that fruitiness um, in the Glen Grant. That's why it's my number four. And the price for this is around five, between five and six hundred rand. So very good price. That would translate to about um, 25 to 30 pounds mm -hmm. or 35 dollars uh, if you translate that to international currency my number four where is my number four this is my number four so we differ in our number yes. four in our fourth choice go back to whiskey my number four old Pulteney maritime whiskey from the harbour town wick if i remember correctly in the very north of the Highland of Scotland. This is a fantastic dram, a little bit salty with a bit of fruitiness. And pairing this with a food snack, we quite enjoy goat's cheese on crackers. Yeah, yeah that was a when good When we pairing. go for this. Yeah. And currently, very good price. I can get this at a special one of our liquor stores, 350 Rand, which translates to about, it is about 18, 19 pounds. Mm -hmm. Less than 20 pounds or That's good. $25, yeah. which yeah. is a fantastic price. So this is my yes. number four. Okay, and I think number you've three. got the three. You've got the number three. I've got the number we, three. We agree on this one yes. as well. Old Buffalo Trace. Both um, of our number three. Number three, yeah. We agree on that because I love it because of the smooth yet. It's smooth, but yet it's got a complex, it's a complex bourbon. It's not... Um, smooth, easy smooth, drinking, easy drinking, but still but complex. With a complex yeah. flavor profile, and I enjoy that. So it's a bourbon. good, it's a very good bourbon to introduce newcomers yes, to bourbon. Yes. Yet, for the connoisseur, there's a nice complexity mm. to the flavor profile. So both of our number threes, yours so far was uh, the Bunnahaven 46% ABV, Glen Grant 43%, mine Alt Pulteney 43%. Alcohol by volume, but the Buffalo Trace is a bit higher, 43%. Buffalo Trace, 45%. Mm. 
ABV, so slightly higher, pairing this with a food snack we enjoy, buffalo wings. Oh yeah, that fitting. was... It was a good pairing yes. as well. Buffalo Enjoy wings that. or caramel popcorn, mm. which is also fitting. Mm. Bourbon made predominantly from corn, popcorn, corn. So that's a fitting yeah. pairing. Number three, and we're getting closer and closer to our number, number one. one. Let's let's try it, number one before we go okay. to Slanger. our number two. Slanger. Slanger. My number one. My go one. back to whiskey. Oh man, always oh, excellent. Good. Your number two. My number two is the McCullen, the McCullen Twelve Double Cask. Um, I love, I love McCullen. It's also because it's a little bit emotional. My connection with McCullen always uh, let me think of my children in Ireland. So, but the McCullen because Jock is a very Jock big is, McCullen. He's a McCullen fan, fan so yeah. that's always. I love Macallan. I always enjoy drinking Macallan because it's rich, it's elegant, and it's sweet, um, and it's actually just delicious. It's mm. just delicious. Exquisite whiskey. We didn't give the price for the Buffalo Trace. Okay. We bought a bottle of this. You can see this one is uh, getting to the halfway mark. We bought bought a bottle of this today for two hundred and eighty rand. That is eighteen pounds. That's. 20 something dollars yeah. so very no it's less than 20 dollars very good price this one between five and six hundred rand yeah. Yeah. so it's very well priced well priced um, good good value my number two nothing other than art bag 10 year old iconic isla peated heavily peated whiskey 45 to 50 parts per million phenol peat smoke Particles and I just love this beautiful flavored profile citrusy fruit and the peat smoke. I enjoy it quite a bit mm, mm. Pairing this with a food snack. We would go for fried prawns just to bring a bit of balance mm. Sweet seafood to bring balance to the salty peaty whiskey or dark chocolate orange dark orange chocolate mm. citrus chocolate it works very well 550 to 650 Rand for this a very good value and now we're at your number one my number one my old trusted friend Glenn Fiddich. you really are a well, Speyside I fan I am a Speyside fan and <laughs> I I know the first whiskey that it's I ever nice. tasted in my life was Glenn Fiddich 12 so I think I connected there with whiskey so it's my old trusted friend I love oh, yeah. I love Glenn Fiddich 12 year old yeah just pass me that McCallan let me just see the ABV I think that's 43 yes 43 percent my art bag is um, non chill filtered 46 percent so this is the highest ABV so far and uh, your Glenn Fiddick 43 percent very well priced on special now at the moment for 399 mm. rand mm. Mm. that is a bit above 20 pounds around mm. 28 Dollars. But still very yes. good whiskey. My number one, I'm a Glendronach Sherry Cask whiskey fan. Everybody knows that by now. My number one, go back to whiskey, Glendronach 12. Well priced here in South Africa at the moment, 550 Rand. Fantastic flavor profile, fruit cake, chocolates, like bit of coffee notes, chocolate notes, and um, 43%. ABV and pairing this with a food snack beef mince dishes or good old milk chocolate covered raisins mm. Mm. fantastic pairing with the Glendronach 12 and this is our five top go back to whiskies what a what a delight Anna shall we close oh, with yes. a Yes. With a sip. To all of you out there, thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting us and clicking the like button and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And I uh, hope you're enjoying something that you prefer mm. while you watched this video. Slander. Slander. My Glenn Jonah, your Glenn Fiddick. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.